Hello everyone, so if you've clicked on this, I know you're short of time. This is your yoga stretch for days where you have less time and maybe you've got less energy, so you just want to stretch it out as quickly as possible. So that being said, we're going to start off in a child's pose. Make it a wide-legged child's pose, just so we can just sit ourselves right in towards that pelvis and just take the arms out, bring the crown of the head on the floor. And just let out a deep breath. Let that exhale just settle you into these next moments we have together. Let it just tune you into the body. Let it tune you into the breath. Maybe even just a moment of introspection to just notice how you're feeling today and being okay with whatever comes up. So we're going to take a deep inhale through the belly. Soft exhale through the mouth. We'll go one more time. Big breath in. Big breath out. And then on your next inhale, just come high up on the fingertips. So lifting the forearms off the floor. You can keep the crown of the head where it is. And just start moving from side to side. So instead of letting the whole body move from the hips, Think about that movement coming from the upper back. So pushing one armpit down towards the floor at the time. Notice how it might feel good to just roll the forehead across the mat as well, getting that sensation of the ground below you. And then from here, on your next breath in, we can either keep the hands where they are. If it feels too much, you could come back to just rest, resting the hands on the ground. We're going to push into the palms, round through the spine and come forward. A few rolling cat and cows on an inhale. The exhale to drop the belly, lift the heart, soften the elbows. And notice how different this feels in the fingertips, right? It's just a little bit more juicy. Good. Two more times like that. The breath in, we're rolling forward. We're rippling back of the heart towards the ceiling. The breath out, the dropping of the hips, the sinking back. And those fingertips enable us to get us into the shoulders just a tiny bit more. One more time, big breath in to come forward. And the breath out to slowly take it back. Perfect. Now everyone flatten through the palms if you're not there. We're going to roll the spine forward just like before, but this time we're coming into a cobra. So drop the belly, lift the chest, roll the shoulder blades back, take an inhale there. Give yourself a little bit of a head roll from side to side, from left and right. Just work in those connections that join just the chest into the neck. Take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, bring the chest towards the floor. Perfect. Now from here, just bring the hands a little bit wide. We're going to roll the shoulder blades back. Come high up on the fingertips. Elbows point towards the ceiling. Take an inhale, that pulling motion back to lift the chest. The exhale, we're going to dip to the right. So right shoulder comes in. Gaze towards the left hand side. Just find a pause. Find that little bit of release in the front delt. And then inhale to lift back up. Perfect. Exhale, take it to the opposite side, so nice and slow. Good. Your next breath in, we're rising. The breath out, we're flattening towards the ground, the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to tuck the toes and make our way back into our first downward dog. I always like to give you a few moments of just getting to know your down dog today, so the body changes every day, so just notice how... Something so familiar might feel a little bit different. And then when you're ready to find stillness, just soften the knees, push this chest back towards the heels. Take an inhale just to inflate the belly like a balloon. Exhale to let it out. And then on your next breath in, we're going to step the right foot in between the hands. Before we drop the back knee, we're going to push the weight forward, send the left heel back. Find that nice little bit of length in that left hip flexor. And then as you exhale, drop the left knee on the ground. Keep the toes tucked. We're going to rise. This time, just bring the hands on towards the knee. Now we're going to go for two actions. So as you push the knee away from you, I want you to round the spine and push the weight back towards the left toes. As you do, squeeze the left glute, push the hips forward. And then on your inhale, we're going to bend through the knee. And as we do, we roll the shoulders back and we sink low into that left thigh. So just get in two different parts of that left leg. 
The exhale, push into the knee, round, send the weight back towards the left thigh, little activation. And the inhale or exhale, I forgot, drop it all the way down towards the ground. One more time, sending it back, keep a nice, strong, stable base. And then this time, as you drop it down, hold it there, roll the shoulder blades, untuck the back toes, sinking it low. And just breathe, you can have your hands on blocks for support, just make sure there's no tension in the upper body. Any variation of quad stretch which you have, for me, this feels fabulous. If you want more sensation, drag the right foot back, left knee forward. Take one big breath, and then as you exhale, let the hands find the floor or the blocks. Glide that right hip back, coming in towards your half split. Good. So flexing through the toes, send the heart forward. Trying to keep the hips nice and square. And if you want to shake that foot from left and right, just to discover the different lines of the legs, feel free. Noticing if there's any tension in the body, and if you can soften in areas that really don't need to be so turned on, right? The reason why we stretch, I think, is to get that unwinding, it's to get that pliability, right? So make sure the breath's soft, without sounding too yogi, but also the mind. Good. Take one more breath in. Taking a big breath out. And then as you inhale, draw it forward. Tuck the back toes, that right leg's coming back to meet the left. And we're gonna take it to the opposite side. So left foot comes forward. Hold it there, high up on the fingertips. Push the right heel back, chest forward. Finding that nice release for that right hip flexor, you can rock a little bit as well. And using your next exhale to drop the knee on the ground. Toes stay tucked, hands come on towards that left knee. Now we're gonna take a breath in. As we breathe out, we round, we tuck the pelvis under, we send the weight back towards the right toes. And the inhale, we drop the hips, we roll the shoulder blades back and we sink low. Two more times, exhale, that drawing back, that curving in, that activation of the right thigh. And the inhale to just drop and open up into that expansion. One more time, nice and slow, sending it back, a squeeze of the glute. And the exhale or inhale, I keep messing it up today, lift the chest and hold. Untuck the toes, take a moment. Notice if that left knee wants to come out, just try and still hug everything into the midline. Push through the left heel a little bit, so we're thinking of just opening the front of the body as well. Good. Take one more big breath in. And then as you breathe out, bring the hands towards the floor. Lengthen out through that left leg. We're flexing the toes. We're coming in Ardha Hanuman or half split. And again, just take a moment and a pause to just notice how that left hamstring feels. And again, if you want to add that slight movement from left and right. And if you are, see if you can just make that movement come from the top of the leg only, not the whole hip moving as one. So just trying to isolate to get a little bit more movement in that leg. Checking the body for tension, take a big breath in. Big breath out. And then slowly, as you inhale, look forward. We're gonna ground through the left foot. Right, step, right foot steps forward, take an inhale, halfway lift. I'm not even gonna re-record that. Exhale to fold, bring it all the way down. Give yourself a little bit of a rag doll, so soften the knees. As you soften the knees, notice how that just aids the decompression of the whole spine, even into the neck. Good, we're gonna take one inhale, and then as you exhale, start to bend the knees. Try and get as low as you can without the heels lifting, just to get a little bit of ankle mobility, but of course, if they need to lift, feel free. Bring the glutes on the ground, extend the legs out in front of you. So one more posture on each leg to get into the hips and even the sides of the body. Right foot comes in, right inner arch of the foot is open towards the left thigh. So we're opening the foot like a book. We're turning towards that right leg. We're gonna send the arms out wide. Left arm comes over, right arm reaches all the way up and over towards those left toes. If it feels good to bring the hand behind the head to your practice, please do so. And this kind of left elbow, use it as an anchor, right? So if you push into your left elbow a little bit more, can you turn your chest towards the right a little bit more and find a little bit more length? 
If it doesn't feel good to look up, you can send the gaze down. Taking one more breath in. Big breath out. And then as you inhale, we're going to rise up. Keep the chest in the position so it's in line with the pelvis. Little bit not yoga-y, but we're going there. We're going to fold forward. So it's kind of like a half wide-legged forward fold, right? Should feel a little bit more natural for the hips. Should feel like you can naturally melt down here. If you need to bend through that left knee a little bit to just release that tension on the underside of the knee, feel free. And just take two breaths. And notice what the breath does to the body and how it moves it. So the inhale, that expansion of the belly, hopefully finding a little bit more length in the spine. And the exhale, providing you with a space to go a little bit lower. And then as you breathe in, we're slowly going to come all the way up. We're going to switch the sides. So left foot comes in, right leg completely extends out towards the side. Opening the foot like a book, arms come out wide. Again, find that nice tall spine to start with. Right hand comes out under, left arm goes all the way over towards the right toes. We're lengthening through the whole left hand side of the body. Left hand can be behind the head. And again, trying to use that contact point of skin with the right arm to push in towards the right thigh to take the heart a little bit more up towards the ceiling. Good, taking a few breaths, grounding through the left hip. And again, if you want to look down because it just feels better for the neck, then why not? Good, hands can reach towards the toes. Just try not to close in on yourself. And then using your next breath in to rise, bring it back through neutral, let all that yumminess just kind of subside on the left hand side. And then we're going to fold forward, completely in towards our hips. So that half wide legged forward fold, if you're wondering why we're doing this, you've got the last posture, which is obviously going to be the full version. So just take a moment here to really bring, bring the belly button closer towards the ground. No tension in the shoulders or the jaw. Start to deepen the breath. And then as you breathe in, rising, coming all the way up. And now for our last one, we're going to take the left foot all the way out, coming in. If this doesn't feel good, you can place a pillow or a block underneath the sit bones. You can bend the knees. Think of sticking the booty out, belly button towards the floor. And I like to shift from side to side here. So it's just kind of like I'm moving all that junk at the top of my hip sockets. <laughs> Very much yoga language, right? And then just finding a spot. Arms can come onto the blocks. They can be on pillows. Notice if you're craning your neck, try and drop the chin so there's equal parts of the front and back of the throat. And definitely start to deepen the breath. Start to notice the deeper exhales. And with every exhale, just trying to release any pockets of tension in the body. Taking a big breath in. Big breath out. And then as you inhale, rise, come all the way up. Let's just end in a cross-legged seat, just for a pause, a moment of reflection before you carry on and do whatever it is you need to do. Let out a breath and just notice. How has the movement, the practice made you feel? If there's any difference from the start until now. I wish you all a beautiful rest of the day. Namaste, Grace.